Let's, let's turn now to some more money. The Finance Minister has signalled some existing government programmes or areas of spending may need to be changed or cut for the government to fulfil its financial promises. Government ministers have been directed to carry out a line-by-line -line review of spending within their portfolios and scrap any programmes that don't fit with the government's priorities. Now, that move was revealed by Grant Robertson, who gave his first major speech as finance minister at an Auckland business breakfast today. And in the audience was our political editor, Jane Patterson. Much of the political debate has been focused on Labour's economic credibility and whether it can balance the books while spending billions more on health, education and family incomes. Grant Robertson's speech was aimed at reassuring the business audience about the approach the coalition government intends to take. The last Labour-led government, led by Helen Clark and Michael Cullen, showed that it is possible to be fiscally disciplined and deliver progressive policies, and we will do the same. Mr Robertson said the government's coffers would be boosted by scrapping Nationals' planned tax cuts and cracking down on tax evasion and property speculators. But that will not be enough in itself. We will need to reprioritise and seek out programmes that are good value for money. I have directed all ministers to assess their budgets against the new government's priorities. He told reporters later this would be a two-year process. I think it's a good discipline for ministers to look at that. Uh, and obviously, you know, that's what happens when governments change. There will be programmes that, um, you know, that are supported by one government that aren't supported by another one. But we want that process to be methodical. That's why I've asked ministers to do that right away and then take two years to go through the full process. Nationals finance spokesperson Stephen Joyce says this justifies his party's questions during the election campaign about Labor's ability to balance the books. Well, I think that would be a problem if they started cutting uh, programmes that New Zealanders rely on, which they hadn't mentioned during the election campaign. Uh, they have to be careful not to say, well, actually, we said before the election we could do all this. Uh, and now, oh, sorry, the fine print is that we have to cut some programmes in order to achieve that. Grant Robertson acknowledged economic growth may slow next year from its current level of around 2.5% as the housing market cools and immigration is tightened. But he says that won't compromise the government's budget. Even if there's a slight softening of growth, um, we'll come back quickly. And actually, um, the, the bank economists who were forecasting that slight softening are all forecasting uh, a rebound back up around 3%. Um, in 2019 and 2020. So I, I know I'm very confident we can meet our objective. Mr Joyce says it's interesting the Finance Minister is already preparing New Zealanders for a slowdown. Uh, of course that wasn't predicted in the settings coming up to the election. So if there is a slowdown, that will be because predominantly because of the policy changes, restrictions on immigration and so on. And you know, they have to own that because there's no reason why New Zealand shouldn't be tracking at uh, around 3% growth. Film producer John Barnett was in the audience for Grant Robertson's speech and he was pleased with what he heard. I thought it was uh, very coherent and I thought it was ambitious for the country and I thought that he joined the dots up very well and I, I do think that there's a vision. But not all businesses seem happy with that vision. A key business confidence survey showed sentiment deteriorating to its lowest levels in eight years this month, with the formation of the Labour-led government cited as one factor. Mr Barnett says there has naturally been some concern about the change of government within business. Well, I think there always is when there's a change, because people get used to things, and change is quite often hard to process. But what I have been interested to see is how many people are saying... Oh, it's much better than I thought it was going to be. Some of the questions from the audience were about how the government could meet skills shortages while tightening immigration. Andrew Fisher from EcoStock says his food waste recycling business, like most firms, needs a steady and reliable workforce. I think they're now engaging with food manufacturers, transport companies and construction. Those three critical areas need you know, truck drivers, machinery operators and builders, I think if you can talk to those areas and give confidence in those three areas around the farms, I think he didn't shut the door there, he left it open saying that they're going to talk through that and I think that's important that uh, those primary companies know that uh, that level of investment can be uh, continued. The mini budget showing how all of the election promises and policies agreed in coalition talks will stack up will be delivered on the 14th of December. In Auckland for Checkpoint, Jane Patterson.